Looks like you tripped the circuit breaker, Adabot. Wait, who did I trip? No, no, the circuit breaker isn't a person. It's a device in that box over there. The circuit breaker turns off all the electricity when we draw too much electrical current. Oh. And it's also something only a grown-up should touch. Committed to memory. Wow, powering all my stuff must use a lot of current. That's right, and we measure electrical current in amperes. Huh, why do we call it that? The ampere is named after the scientist, Mr. Andre Marie Ampere. Accessing database. Andre Marie Ampere, a French scientist from the 1800s. That's right, and Mr. Ampere was very curious about how electricity works. Curious, like me? This is true. And he conducted many experiments to learn about electricity. The results of his experiments showed Mr. Ampere that electricity is created by the movement of many teeny objects which are so small we can't even see them. Electrodynamic molecules? Nowadays, we call these teeny objects electrons. And when electrons move, we call that electrical current. Makes sense to me. That's easy. We use a multimeter. Oh, I wish I had one of those. In this circuit, electrons flow from one end of the battery, through the LED, and then back to the other end of the battery. By sending the current through a multimeter, we're able to measure the amount of electrons flowing through. So this LED is using 0.05 amperes. Correct. I wish I could see electrons move. Well, you may not be able to see every single electron, but you can see the effects of electrical current. Really? How do we do that? Well, you can see it when your boombox makes sound, or when your toaster heats up, and you can feel it when your blow dryer blows hot air at you. I get it. Electrical current makes electricity go. Those electrons are amazing. That's right, Adabot. Hey, you know, you don't have any hair, right? What? Tout à l'heure.